little basic mat work. I'm gonna do this in a short version so that it could be accessible at home. Modify if you need to. When my head and chest is lifted, you can always keep it down if you need to protect your head or neck. Um, if you have any spine issues, rolling might not be appropriate, but you could hold the balance. I'll try to remind you when that happens. So I'm on my mat here. I'm gonna start by rolling myself down to my back. You can soften your knees to make that a little nicer as you warm up. I'm gonna bring one leg to tabletop and the other. Starting with Pilates hundreds, which is a breath in abdominal endurance. I'm gonna take a big inhale to start. As I exhale, I'm gonna come up to my hundred start position, pulling my abs in. And then inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, forty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Inhale. Exhale, breathe into my side of my lungs. Exhale it all out. Three more in. And lowering all the way back down. I'm gonna take my legs out long, anchor my feet into the mat. If you need to bend your knees to make this nicer, you can. I'm gonna roll myself up. So I'm gonna take a big inhale, exhale, chin to chest, and feeling myself all the way up, and then I'm gonna roll it back with control. Trying to articulate, curling down, and reaching overhead. And again, inhale. And do that one more full one, rolling back again, softening your knees if you need to, to make it a little bit nicer. Rolling up, oh, I got stuck. Modification. <laughs> Should edit that. I won't. <laughs> you might do it too. Feeling myself all the way up and then rolling back down. <laughs> so play along with me. You might also need to modify. I'm going to bring one leg up to the sky for my one leg circle. Keeping my back and pelvis still. Inhale to go across my body. Exhale to pull it back up to the top. Inhale around. Trying to keep my back as still as I can, using those abs as I come back up to the sky, and then reverse it. Go down and around and up, down and around and up, down and around and up. One more time. And then I'm put that foot down, slide it away, and the other one comes to the tabletop and up. Keeping the leg as straight as I can, it's okay to bend if you need to. Again, anchor into my abs, I'm gonna press down, around, and up. Down, around, and up. Inhale, exhale. One more, and then I'm gonna go the other way. Mobilizing that hip, stabilizing the back and pelvis. One more, using that breath. And then I'm gonna take those legs long and see if I can do a better job here. I'm gonna roll myself back up. Good, that worked. <laughs> now I'm going to go into rolling like a ball. So if you have back stuff, just holding the balance position can be enough work. So I'm going to find the feet hugged and tight to my body, balancing on back edge of my sit bone. I'm going to use my abs to curl back, rolling back, and then coming back up. <laughs> I'm going to roll back and find that balance between each one, holding. Deep in the abs to roll back and find my balance up. One more time, and then I'm gonna roll back with abs and up, and then my feet come down. It's time for the series of five abs. So, just all abs, right? I'm gonna roll my spine down. You can hold the back of your thighs to make it a little nicer if you need to. Bring my legs to tabletop. I'm gonna keep my head and shoulders down. I'm still gonna work my abdominals, but I'm just gonna stay down on this one for a little bit of safety for my neck. I'm gonna pull this leg in, the other one reaches long, and switch. I'm trying to keep my back and pelvis still, deepening the abdominal connection, and then reaching that leg long with the glute seat muscles as I reach and I pull, and I pull. One more. I'm gonna bring both legs in. I am gonna go ahead and curl up from this one. 
making sure it's from my ribs and not my neck. As I exhale, I'm gonna curl my head and chest up. Here's my start and in position. I inhale to reach arms and legs away from each other, and I exhale to scoop it in. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. And lower back down. Next up is single leg stretch, which is also known as scissors. So it's single straight leg stretch. So I'm gonna bring my legs up, nice and straight and strong. I'm gonna curl head and chest up, but again, you can stay down on this one. I'm gonna grab the back of one leg, take the other one away long, and then I'm gonna switch. I can add a little extra reach, reach, or pull and reach. So opposition, deepening those abs as I reach. And then I'm bringing both legs up. My hands are gonna go behind my head and I'm going to do double leg lowers or double straight leg lowers. So I'm gonna lower my legs and lift them back up. I'm pulling those abs in to keep my back and pelvis still. My upper spine is a little bit flexed. <sighs> Tabletop and rest. Okay, single leg stretch, double leg stretch, single straight leg stretch, double straight leg lowers. And now I have crisscross to finish off that series of five. So I'm gonna curl that head and chest up again. Legs are at tabletop. I'm gonna take one leg out long and rotate towards my knee. And then I'm gonna switch. The goal is to wring out the waist, pulling those deep abs in, sinking into those spinal stabilizers and twist. I'm not trying to hit my knee as much as I'm trying to wring out my waist. One more each side. And then I'm gonna bring it down. All right, from here, I'm gonna roll it up again. It's always okay to just rock yourself up. But I had room to improve, a little close to my bar there. All right, so we're gonna go right into spine stretch forward. So now I'm gonna flex the spine forward. I'm gonna start sitting up on those sits bones. So I'm gonna like rock side to side to get onto sits bones. Arms are out long. I'm gonna to try to keep my pelvis neutral or vertical as I exhale and I round forward, pulling my abs in. And then I use my back extensors to slide back to top. So it's a flexion. As I exhale, I reach, flexing my upper spine, pulling my abs in. And then I use my extensor muscles to come back up top. I'm gonna to do that one more time. Spine stretch forward. So I'm gonna reach, flexing forward. And then restacking my spine. All right, I'm gonna take this right into soft. Or I'm going to do spine twists first. So sitting nice and tall, feet are out in front, torso flexed, or toes up. I'm going to start with a twist. I'm going to go twist a little more, a little more. Inhale through center, and then I go exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale through center, exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, and I go exhale, exhale, exhale. Back to center. Now I'm going to take it into that soft. So from here, I'm going to rotate and then flex forward, fold like spine stretch forward towards my opposite toe, restack my spine, come through center to the other side, and flex over that way. Reaching up, so this combine those last two moves to a twist and a stretch forward, stack tall, a twist, a stretch forward, back up tall, and back to center. From here, I'm gonna flip over for a swan. So I'm going to come over to my belly, reaching my hands down by my shoulders, and I have a hat on, which is a good um, guideline here. My forehead is just going to hover off the mat. My legs are going to be active and long, and if you take them a little bit apart, it makes it a little bit nicer on the side joint. So from here, I'm going to press into my hands, and I'm going to lift up through thoracic spine. So I'm going to pull my belly in, push my pubic bone down, and extend up. I can stop right here and then bring it back down. I'm gonna go all the way up because I have good extension in my spine. So I'm gonna extend shoulder blades, slide down towards back pockets, trying to stay out of my low back as I extend my upper spine, crown of the head reaching long, and then I'm gonna control my way back down, nice and slow. I'm gonna take a big inhale as I come up. Really feeling my rib cage expand, shoulders are down away from my ears, Belly is tight, glutes are firing, and then bring it back down. 
I'm gonna take that one more time. You can keep it small or just go into forearms. Stopping here, rolling the ball away. I'm gonna see a rolling ball away up to that swan. And then as I come back down, I'm gonna press back to a little shelf stretch, which is hips towards heels, pulling my belly in, reaching forward. Some call this a little piece of heaven because it feels so nice. And then from here, I'm gonna come right onto a crawling position. So my shirt's dangling a little bit, but you still be able to see my spine. So I'm gonna take this right into a cat stretch. So I wanna articulate, if I can, um, the head, chest, back, and tail. And then I'm gonna extend my tailbone, my lower, middle, upper, and cervical spines. So I'm gonna curl head, Feeling up as I get there, I'm lifting my belly and pulling away from the mat. And then I'm going to go tail, back, shoulders, and extend. Keeping that neutral, it's a good place since I'm already here to go ahead and do a little alternate arm and leg for core, back extensors, and balance. So I'm going to take my right hand and my left leg, opposite sides, if you do the other side, it's fine. I'm going to hold those out for a little balance and then bring it back down. Reset or realign, connect. So those shoulders should be down my back, spine as neutral as I can. And I'm going to reach opposite arm and leg long, <laughs> watching out for what's on my desk in front of me. And then I'm going to bring it back down. I'm going to add on. You can stay right there if that's enough for you today. We're going to take opposite arm and leg out, holding. And then I'm going to bring them under me, flexing knee towards elbow. And then reach back out to that long line. Flex it in. Reach it out, flex it in, reach it out and hold, elongating, and then bring it back down under me. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to start first with reaching one leg and one arm out, finding that alignment and that stability. Then I'm going to flex and curl in, reach them away. Flex and curl in, reach them away. Flex and curl in, reach it away and then bring it down. From here, I'm gonna to go to sideline. So I'm gonna lay on my side. I make my arm a pillow. So my ear is between my bicep, and then my legs are gonna be long and a little bit forward. I can bend my bottom leg a little more as a kickstand as I need to. And then I'm gonna start with just a lift and lower the leg. So lift and a lower. Lift and lower, lift, and lower, working the AB vectors and AD vectors for the outer and inner thigh. I'm gonna hold the next one up. Flexing my toes forward, I'm gonna do a little kick, kick, pull. So it's a little side kick, 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 pull. So I'm going in front of the body and then pulling behind the body, trying really hard to stay lifted in my abs and vertical in my pelvis so I'm not rolling back. I'm gonna do one more here and then bring it back. From here, I'm gonna keep that top leg reaching long out of my hip socket, making it the long leg, long through the side of the waist. And then I make little circles like I'm tracing a grapefruit. And then reverse the other way. And then lowering it back down. You could roll over into a prone position to switch, but instead of putting my rear to the camera, I'm gonna roll over to the other side. So, stacking those legs slightly in front of me, sometimes I call it the banana-like shape, so they're slightly in front, stacked parallel, and then my abs are lifted, so I'm trying not to sink, but to lift the other side of the waist. Head is supported, and then hands sort of a kickstand. I'll be able to tell if I'm rocking and rolling the hips. So I'm gonna start with the lift and lower of that top leg, working that side of the hip, breathing in and out, keeping those abs drawn in. And then I'm gonna hold this next one up. And then I'm gonna kick the foot forward and pull it back. So it's a little kick, kick, pull. So a hip flexion and extension, flexion, so I'm trying really hard to keep my pelvis still, my lateral hip, my hip flexor, hip extensor, abs all working. Well, I'm gonna do one more. 
and bring it back. Now I'm going to point that toe, reach it out long, get long through the hip and side of the waist. Try not to sink into that rib cage. And make those little grapefruit or softball size circles from the hip socket. Everything else is still. And I'm going to reverse it. About five here. And then I'm going to bring it down. And sit up. I'm going to go right ahead and go into some bridging or some shoulder bridge. So I'm going to roll myself back down to my back. Pressing my hands into the floor, relaxing my head and throat and neck so they're not doing the work. To start, I'm just going to do a little pelvic curl. So my belly button was 12 and my pubic bone was 6 on a clock. I'm just going to pull to 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. So it's a little articulation, warming up those abs. So I try not to do it with my glutes, but to shorten ribs to hips. So it's an abdominal move, pulling in and lengthening. All right, warm that up. So now I'm going to articulate bridge. If you have spinal reasons not to articulate, hinge bridging is perfectly fine. I like to mobilize my spine because it's healthy in that part. So I'm going to go pubic bone, low back, middle back, up to my shoulders, only shoulders. And then I'm going to melt my spine back down, softening the sternum, that rib cage, the belly, and then neutral pelvis. Curling on my exhale and peeling up bone by bone. My knees reach over my toes, trying to make that nice and long. And then I melt it back down. Controlling, trying to peel my spine up like a strand of pearls. One pearl at a time. I'm going to peel up and stay. Holding here. Now, if this is appropriate for your body, I'm going to bring a leg to tabletop and up to the sky. I'm going to do a little shoulder bridge with a little leg lower and lift. I'm going to do five on each side. I'm the world's worst counter, so I might have done four or six, but I think that's five. And then I'm going to go toe ball heel, fighting those glutes, trying to stay in my nice bridge, bringing my leg to tabletop into the sky, down and up, down and up. Everything else should be staying pretty still if I can. I am pressing my arms into the mat so that I'm nice and stable in that upper spine. And there's my five. Toe ball heel back down. And then I'm going to melt my spine all the way back down. I'm going to rock myself up to see this. I'm going to turn back sideways. And from here, I'm going to go right into a um, just a little mermaid stretch. So I can sit cross-legged as well. I'm going to stay in my little Z sit. So one leg forward, one leg back. So I move those arms out to a T. I'm going to put my hand closest to my front leg on the mat. And then I'm going to reach up and over, trying to lift that rib cage as I go down. One more inch high to the sky with that rib. And then I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to counter stretch away. Just a small little stretch there. Arms back to the T. Hand by my hip, pressing into the mat as I push that hip down. So I'm trying to keep hips down and I reach up and over. And then restack my spine. Counter stretch one more time. That feels so good. I'm going to do it one more time. My hands by my hip. And I'm going to reach up and over, getting a nice stretch in that upper rib cage. And then bring it back in. I'm going to switch my legs. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Again, cross-legged, or your legs can be out in front of you if that feels better to your hip or knee. So starting with my T, I'm going to bring that hand down and then reach up and over. And then bring it to the counter stretch away. Just a smaller movement that way. I have more room to move here. My hand's planted on the floor. And then my top hand comes over like a little water spout as I reach up and over. So this is lateral flexion of the spine. I'm pushing down, keeping the hips down, counter stretching. And one more time this way, breathing into that top rib as I push into the mat and reach over. Find my T, bring it over, and all the way. All right, one more move for y'all. I'm gonna do a little plank, leg pull front plank because I feel like I can't give you a, a mat workout without doing a plank or a variation of. So I'm gonna just find my plank, push up plank position and just find that nice long line. Every muscle in my body should act, be active. I'm pushing away from the mat, lifting my ribs, tightening my glutes, quads are active, calves are active, crown of the head is reaching long. I'm gonna lift my right leg, point, Flex and put it down with my left leg. Point, 
flex, and put it down. So there's a lift, shift, and back, and down, lift, shift, back, and down, lift, shift, back, down. Last time, lift, shift, back, down. And then holding that plank, pushing away from the floor. I'm gonna hold it for five, reaching every muscle strong. Crown head from the heels, head to heel like a piece of steel. Breathe. And then put my knees down and finish with one more little shell stretch, pulling the abs up and in. Hips go back. And there's a, about a 20 minute work, mat workout for you. Hope you have a great day. Thanks so much.